Hey guys, welcome back to the X-Files. This next episode is called Home, a very simple, easy to pronounce, somewhat nice title really. So, you know we're in for a treat. <laughs> you know it's not going to be good, but I'm looking forward to it anyway. I hope you're having a marvellous, wonderful day. Let's get watching. I love the rain. Oh, she's having a baby. <gasps> Did you see that guy's face? What's happening? Are they taking the little baby with them? Oh, come on. What? Oh, come on. That's awful. That doesn't make me feel very good at all. I actually feel quite uh, sick and sad. The man that we saw crying, he, I think, is the father? That's just a bit much. Home, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow, that's actually a town's name. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is where the baby was buried all those years ago and the kids are going to dig it up. Oh, that's the house. Hey, come on! It went on the Peacock's property! I don't want to go in there. So obviously that home, the come Peacock's on, baby, house, on. has got some bad reputation. Yep, he's accidentally okay. going to be digging oh, it up. <gasps> oh, God, what? So this must have just been like a couple of days after or something. Oh, no, no, no. They're checking him out. Compression marks indicate the shovel blade to be approximately six and three quarters inches. I think a couple of dental stone casts will prove invaluable to the investigation. Meanwhile, I've quit the FBI and become a spokesperson for the ab roller. Smell that. <laughs> That's perfume. God, this brings back a lot of memories. My sister, all day pickup games out on the vineyard. No modems, no faxes, no cell phones. Although if you had to do without a cell phone for two minutes, you'd lapse into catatonic schizophrenia. Well, you don't know me as well as you think you did. If I had to settle down, build a home, be a place like this. Agents Mulder and Scully? That. Hi. I'm Sheriff Andy Taylor. We never had anything of this nature. Population of home is only a few hundred. Hey, Sheriff, who lives in that house there? Did you question them? Interesting. Because they've been watching us the entire time. That farm belongs to the Peacock family. Three boys now. Guess you could call them human. What? Their folks were in a bad car wreck, and we suppose they died. You suppose? The boys hauled the bodies away, took them home. They haven't been seen in 10 years, so we suppose they died. Wow, nobody checked the up on them? Those boys are feeble, Agent Scully. They wouldn't have any idea what you were talking about. This town is my home. It's quiet, peaceful. I don't even wear a gun. I have seen and heard some of the sick and horrible things that go on outside my home. And one day the modern world would find us, and, and when I saw it in the ground, I knew that day had come. Now, I want to find whoever did this. But in doing so, I'd like it if the way things are around here didn't have to change. Okay, it seems like he's so sort of in denial a little bit. Well, maybe we should take a look at the victim then. You know, I don't think I want to see this. In the we fridge? Don't have a lab or a morgue. I've got a room down here. By the way, this is my deputy, Barney. Uh, I could use a bit more elbow room. Oh no, they, you can't do that in a tiny little toilet. Oh my god. It looks as if this child has been afflicted by every rare birth defect known to science. I, I guess we can rule out murder as the cause of death. She will probably be able to find, like, dirt ingested. Evidence of occlusion due to dirt in the nose and mouth, mm. indicating the dirt has been inhaled. Yep, exactly. There's something rotten in Mayberry. What must her mother go through? Apparently not much in this case if she just throw it out with the trash. I, I guess I was just projecting on myself. Why, is there a history of genetic abnormalities in your family? <laughs> No. Find yourself a man with a spotless genetic makeup and a really high tolerance for being second guessed and start pumping out the little Uber skellies. <laughs> what about your family? Well, aside from the need for corrective lenses and the tendency to be abducted by extraterrestrials <laughs> involved in an international governmental conspiracy, the Mulder family passes genetic muster. There she goes. <laughs> from what I know about genetic defects, Mulder, it's unlikely that child is the result of a single polygenic mating. And from the degree, I'd say mutations that go back many generations. Yep. 
And if they were paying attention, they would understand what the sheriff said about the Peacock family. But he also implied that they practiced inbreeding. Mm -hmm. Now we all have a natural instinct to propagate. Do we? There's no sister. The mother's been dead for 10 years. Now a woman gave birth to that child, Mulder. And my guess is against her will. Kidnapping is a bureau matter. I never saw you as a mother before. <laughs> Aww. I like that. I feel that the last few episodes, uh, we've been getting more and more insight into Mulder and Scully and their relationship seems to be getting expanded on, which is a beautiful thing. No, there's no probable cause. Oh, he's going to go in. He's just going to go in. I don't think that he he should though, like they shouldn't be allowed to do that. They match. Oh! And there's the shovel. This room alone should convict them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we can find them, they probably bolted when they saw us coming. Without a countywide APB. And check any prior missing persons for a woman. If the mother's alive, they probably took her with them. Okay, I am feeling scared, and I also feel like I can hear noises in my own house. <gasps> oh, okay, there's one of them. Okay, so he's just hiding out. Or is that the mother, the woman? Well, uh, we'll check on those in the morning. You get some sleep, Sheriff. Good night. You know, this Sheriff, I don't... Why do I feel he's dodging? Okay, secret, secret container. Hello? Oh! Very interesting that he keeps his gun locked away. He did say that he doesn't feel the need to carry a gun in such a small town. But maybe he's second guessing that now. Oh, they just leave their bloody handprints. Ugh. Yo. Oh, don't move, don't move. <laughs> Damn. You still planning on making a home here? I don't know if I can get the next game. Good night, Mulder. Good night, Mom. <laughs> That's cute. Mulder, this lock is broken. Uh, you don't have to uh, lock your doors around here. Oh, I thought that they were locked in. Is he going to lock it, though? Oh, okay. It's funny that um, Mulder is locking the door and the sheriff's getting his gun ready. One good last look around before it all changes. Oh, she didn't lock the door. Family is here at the sheriff's. Oh no 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 no! I, I'm at the bed. I'm going for the gun. <gasps> oh no! I don't like this at all. I feel that the sheriff is gonna die. No! Oh, oh, what a time to not lock your door. Oh, no. He doesn't stand a chance. I mean, that guy's massive. Yep, I knew he was going to die. <gasps> now I'm just waiting for them to, like, slowly look under the bed. Oh, no. Oh, that's gross. <gasps> they can probably smell the lady. Oh. <gasps> wow. They're going to take her. She is um, the next mother. <laughs> Oh gosh, that is so terrible. Okay, they don't want her. They just killed her. They killed her and the sheriff. Big American car. Oh. I came over to give him these reports and uh, I found them. This came from the federal crime lab overnight. His chest is one big hematoma. Wood shavings and better than what's left of the cranium. Oh, that's awful. They really went caveman on him. The lab screwed up the DNA test on the infant. 
This shows far too many gene imbalances. His child cells would have had to divide triple fold in cell metaphase. Triple? Hey, Scully, what if each of the Peacock brothers was the father of that child? Huh? Mulder, only one sperm in thousands from a single individual <laughs> can penetrate an ovum yes. membrane, let alone from three separate males. No, for that to even be remotely possible, it, there'd have to be a, a weakening of the ovum, and that would have to come from a female member of the Peacock family. They may have a woman captive up there who may have sustained life-threatening injuries while giving birth. I think that we should go up there right now. Yeah, but we're outnumbered. We could further endanger the victim by doing that. I'll take you out there. It's three against three. This, this should give us the advantage. He wants his revenge, yeah. Why would the Peacocks kill Sheriff Taylor? He didn't even question them about the buried child. Yeah, they probably heard about the warrants issued for their arrest. Unless they overheard us talking about it, how would they know? No, we searched that house, Scully. They weren't home. Exactly. How could they know? They were home, though. They were hiding. I'm hungry. Ew. Oh, my gosh. I'm ready. Who is that guy? Like, where does he live? Is he in the floorboards? What is this? weird stuff <laughs> there's three of them three men and the guy that is on the floor help it coming now who knew this day was gonna happen that they try to change the way things are let them know this is our home and this is the way it's gonna stay i want to see that weird guy that's on the floor <laughs> yep they're up there I'll take the front, but you can approach him around back. Oh, I don't see him surviving. Are these absolutely necessary, deputy? Yeah, he's not walking away from this. I love the vests and the little earpieces. <laughs> We're getting into position. Yeah, there's lots of cars in the yard from kidnapped people, I think. I don't see anybody inside. Oh. I'm surprised it's not like bear traps or just traps in general. Yep, a trap. Foster, no! <gasps> okay, there are traps. Dad, the brothers moved in like a pack of animals. The eldest will move in to assure the prey has been killed. Circling the prey is a signal to the others that it's safe to approach. What we're witnessing, Scully, is undiluted animal behavior, regressed to an almost prehistoric state. Wow. Obeying only the often savage laws of nature. Even though we have the firearms, I imagine the place is rigged with traps. Yep. Yeah, but we can try to divert them out of the house. Scully, would you think less of me as a man if I told you I was kind of excited right now? <laughs> <laughs> No, Ram, you. No, Ram, you. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Oh, there he comes. Look at all that blood on his hands. Wow. <laughs> this is honestly crazy. They're all covered in blood and they don't care. Mulder and Scully are going to go into the house, but it's still full of traps, though. I don't like this. This is silly. Nah, come on. <laughs> no. Please don't go in there. Oh. Is anybody in here? This is nuts. To go in FBI. there by yourself. Come on. Is anybody on. in this house? No. <laughs> I am scared. Is that the men that we see outside or is this like family members of the past? Oh, that's interesting. That's where that guy is on the floor. It's all right, ma'am. That's the lady. That's the lady. Oh my God, what? Take it easy, man. Take it easy. It's all right. It's all from the FBI. We're here to help. Oh, no. We're gonna make sure that you're safe. We're gonna make sure that you get home. Mulder, she already is home. It's Mrs. Peacock. She's their mother. This is terrible. We may not be able to remove her, Mulder. She doesn't appear to be held against her will. I'm sure she's an accessory. At least she aided and abetted. The way I think it goes here is that Edmund is the brother and father of the other two. And try convincing her that she's the one way they can get out of this without any of her boys getting hurt. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on them. Scully, watch your step. Yes. There's traps everywhere. 
Oh gosh, they are gonna get stabbed. There is something bad going to happen. Mrs. Peacock, you are in immediate need of medical attention. Agent Mulder and I are here to help you. This is our home. Whatever pain you may feel. Don't feel pain. Runs in the family. What about you, even after the accident? Right arm was torn off. Boys took me home. They're such good boys. Mrs. Peacock, they murdered Sheriff Taylor and his wife. I can tell. You don't have no children. Maybe one day you'll learn the pride, the love, when you know your boy will do anything for his mother. So they killed the sheriff and the deputy to protect the mother. They had to keep her safe. Oh, no. They don't care. They... Oh, watch out! Oh no, this is a nightmare! Oh my god! Oh, how many bullets does he take? Oh, no way, no way! I got the mother! Oh no! There's a trap down the hallway. This is insane. Insane. All right, thank I looked you. everywhere. They're both gone. So the mother is gone. I thought they got all the three brothers. Sherman and George were good boys. And you got to know, Edmund. You can't keep a peacock down. Now we have to move on. Start a new family. Find a new place to call ours. A new home. Is she in the... A brand new home. What? They survived. They're out of here. I wonder if we'll ever see them again. Oh, jeez. That was so creepy and disturbing. It's got me, like, looking around my room. Just making sure that I'm okay. There was a few aspects to this episode that I didn't like. And I felt uncomfortable watching, especially with the baby. I really didn't like seeing that. And that was really awful and horrific and disturbing. I could have easily have gone without seeing that. Thank you so much, X-Files. I appreciate it. But the story itself was very gripping and interesting and different to what we've seen here before so i really do appreciate that very much i do love that they push the envelope with some of these stories and i have no idea who comes up with them because sometimes they are just so insane and unique and in this case was no exception it definitely feels that we may see them again the mother and one of her sons that actually did survive which I thought they ended up killing all three, but apparently not. They're gone. They're taking off to begin a, a new life somewhere else, starting a new life, a new family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very, very disturbing. When I saw the the person that just, you could just see the eyes, I thought that maybe they were buried underneath the floorboards. Maybe it was like sort of the boss, the ringleader. And yes, it was. It was the mother. So that was the mother that was in charge. And uh, the, there's concepts in this that is just way too disturbing for me to think about. But my goodness it was very different very unusual and pretty yuck pretty yuck but i do love that it was so different and i've never seen anything like it a highlight for me ignoring the gross stuff was that i feel that Mulder and scully's relationship is starting to progress ever since you know the what was that episode called? Was it Quagmire with um, when they were on the rock and they were stuck 
like inches away from the shore on the rock and they had that conversation like things are beginning to really ramp up between them they are having these conversations they are getting to know each other a lot better i know that they've been friends for a while now but it definitely seems to me that things are progressing and I like it a lot. I, I love that we are not just following them on case to case, but we are also learning more about them with episodes like this. Even just little little snippets can can be enough to really give that feeling that, hey, things are going really well with Mulder and Scully. Their friendship is progressing nicely so it's a beautiful thing i truly truly love it all right guys that's it for this episode it was full-on weird and awful but it was interesting to say the least i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one have a great day bye